Well, good morning on this Wednesday. The day's finally here that we've been talking about the warm up and this is all going to be preceding what will be another system moving through this one for Friday and it brings about with the warmer temperatures, not just snow, but a mix of precipitation, perhaps starting first as rain and then changing to snow. We'll look at that in a moment and some wind as well. So of course we have our first alert weather day Friday, but leading up to that, we've got some nice weather that we can enjoy for the next couple of days. So just keep this in the back of your mind as you are making your plans for the rest of the week. Here's a look at our impacts. So this is going to be starting Thursday night. We'll see that potential for some rain eventually changing over to snow on Friday, and there's going to be a little bit of that mix going on, which could lead to some slick snowy travel, uh, icy roads perhaps, especially in those overnight hours when temperatures are closer to the freezing mark, uh, both Thursday night and then again Friday night into early Saturday. And as that snow is falling, it's going to be windy, so there might be some visibility problems too with a little bit of blowing snow as it's falling again. Very warm temperatures, which is going to be a big mitigating factor for any accumulation. Uh, and certainly it, once that snow falls, it's not going to get blown around. It's as it's falling again, where that visibility will be a factor. So that's what we're watching out for. We'll take a look at that coming up this morning. Uh, in just a little bit, we'll take a look at your hour by hour planner. But here today we've got some concerns. We've got a few areas of drizzle affecting us this morning in places in eastern North Dakota. You can see we've got some clouds overhead with some breaks out to the west and we'll see more of that happen into the afternoon. But until then, it's more mostly cloudy and you can expect to have uh, maybe a little drop of rain on your windshield as you're uh, hitting the road today. And winds are southerly. It's brisk out there. We've got wind speeds that have been gusting into the 20s to near 30 miles per hour. Wind is southerly, so warm air moving in. And this is going to be a factor for us throughout the morning. Temperatures are, again, soaring above freezing in a lot of areas. We're at 39 degrees in places like Devil's Lake and down in it's 33 in Fargo, 32 in Grand Forks, and still working on climbing above freezing in the east right now. We'll get there, though. And then heading into the rest of the morning, those clouds again work at clearing. We'll end up with some areas of sunshine mixed in with a few clouds by the lunch hour. And temperatures, you can see where we're at. We're really seeing those numbers climb, and that will just keep going into the afternoon. So by 3 p.m., we're ranging from some low to mid 40s in the northeast all the way into the mid 50s, maybe even some upper 50s in the south and west. You can see Bismarck going to be toasty. We could see that 60 degree mark there. Fargo 53 your high and in Grand Forks we will get into that 50 degree range as well. Now heading into the evening hours, of course, once the sun sets, we'll start to cool down, but we keep around overnight temperatures that are very mild. So we're looking at around 11 o'clock, some numbers into the low to mid 30s, and we don't change too much from there. Some upper 20s to some low 30s to start off Thursday and that sets us up for yet another warm day ahead. Here's a look at the next couple of days beyond today. Again, Thursday 40s to some low 50s in spots, especially in the metros and in the southern end of the valley. Friday is that day of change. You can see temperatures are still pretty mild in the afternoon, so accumulating snow is going to be hard if we see any. Uh, but later Friday night as temperatures drop, that's when we may see it. You can see snow maybe, maybe falling especially in the Northern Valley uh, heading into Friday. So that's again the next system to watch out for. Once that clears, we cool down for the weekend, but we are so warm the next couple of days that even a 20 degree cool down will mean above average temperatures still this weekend. And so it just keeps going into next week as well. We'll be in the 30s to maybe even some upper 30s next week. I feel like typically we're dreaming of a tropical getaway right? at this time of year. And who knew you could keep the pool <laughs> up in your own yard, huh? Yeah, you don't need to go anywhere. We've got great weather going on here. I know a lot of folks want a white Christmas. You know, right. there's still some time for that. But at least right now, this first half of December, not really seeing much of that. Yeah, look at this. No complaints here. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for the updates, Lisa.